Because more than three is four, so it becomes forewarn. Our scores at the moment, John is on 22 and Melissa is on 32, which means that it is anybody's game tonight as we go into these final rounds. Melissa, your choice. Lily, can I please have a consonant? You can, thanks, Melissa. S. Another one? D. And another one. P. I think you know that I'm going to choose a vowel. <laughs> a. And another one. U. And another one. E. And a consonant. R. <coughs> a vowel. <coughs> a. And a, another consonant, please. And to finish, N. Thank you, Lily. 30 seconds. Um, I'm not sure. I got a six that time. Oh, a six sounds good. John? I think I got a seven. Seven sounds, well, just a little bit better. But let's start with the six. Paused. And your seven? Spurned. Spurned. Mm. Great. Uh, a uh, vitriolic comeback. Good play, uh, John. And I had a little bit of a side bet with myself that paused would be the six because they were the first six letters. Spurned and asunder, the two best sevens that I found as well. Nice work, David. John is the one who scored the seven points. So, there's only three points between them now. John on 29, Melissa on 32 as we go into these final numbers for tonight. John, what would you like? Can I have two large and four small again, please, Lily? Thanks, John. Two large, four small. And the last set of numbers for today. One, six, ten, two, and the two large, fifty and seventy-five. The target to reach is eight hundred and eighty-five. Thanks, Lily. Let's head there. Time, John? Um, I ended up with 881. Four off the target. Melissa? I got 875. So you are uh, a bit further away, unfortunately. John, tell us what you did. <laughs> I've, I've reached number twice, actually, again. Oh, no. no. You've been over enthusiastic <laughs> about one two of the numbers. Okay, well, we'll have to uh, move on. And uh, once again, Melissa, you were just right on that scoring edge, but you are there. So tell us what you did. I added 10 plus 1. 10 and, plus 1. And multiply that by 75. By 75. To get 825. 825. And then I added the 50. Add the 50, 875. And we're here. And there we are. <laughs> yeah. 10 off. So uh, well done, Melissa. So you're in the scoring zone. Can you push us closer to the target zone, Lily? I got up to 875 a different way. So if you add 50 and 75, which is 125, and multiply that by 6 plus 1, which is 7, which is 7 by 75, which is 525, and 7 by 50, which is 350, add them together, gives you 875, and then add the 10, gives you 885. Nice work, Lily. Very elegant solution indeed. But Melissa, nevertheless, scores five points in that round. So that means John is on 29, Melissa is on 37. Well, it's been a close game all night and it has come down to the final round because with 10 points at stake, it means that tonight's conundrum will be the decider. So let's reveal tonight's conundrum. Your time starts now. Quick, John, what do you think it is? Is it forgotten? Well, let's...
let's check. Our conundrum solution is forgotten. What a spectacular finish. And that means with that victory in the conundrum, our winner tonight is John. Melissa, look, well done. That was a, a very tight game all the way through. Came right down to the conundrum at the end. But uh, you've been a great player uh, and a great carryover champion. And thank you for having me on the show. It's been a pleasure. And, of course, don't forget the Macquarie Dictionary to take home. Thanks very much. And, John, whoa, what a last-minute uh, victory that was. It certainly was. <laughs> great way to finish. We look forward to some more excitement from you tomorrow night. Let's hope so. See you then. Thank you. And that certainly was an exciting conclusion tonight, David. Very exciting. And in fact, if you remember at the top of the show, I was talking about how crimes in a different setting uh, can be legitimate, such as stealing a glance or stealing a game in the case of John against Melissa. Yeah, it was certainly a very positive use of the word stealing. Actually, there was another uh, phrase that I love too that's doing the rounds of a lot of those word blogs, and it's joke poaching. Uh, which is when you steal a joke from someone else and tell it to another audience. So, again, that's another form of soft crime. Oh, OK. Interesting word evolution there. See you tomorrow night, See David. Then. And is there any maths poaching that goes on, Lily? Well, I, yeah, I guess it's called plagiarism. <laughs> <laughs> that's serious poaching. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get serious again tomorrow night. Good night, Lily. And that is it for the show tonight. You can put your pens and paper away for the moment, but not for too long because we will be back at the same time tomorrow. Until then, from the team, good night.